Hi there, welcome to a brand new review here in the Road Beast Place. For today's presentation, we are going to take a look at and review Nerve Hammer. Story time. So I came across Nerve Hammer uh, the first time I was entering a shop or more of a toy store. Now Nerve Hammer is the first Hot Wheels car that I ever had. Like literally, it was the first color that I um, had um, after opening in mystery models called World Race. You guys, if you are um, subscribers from a long time ago, I actually talked about that two years ago about this mystery models. But it will be good to have or to take a look at it again. Because uh, the thing is I don't have them right now, but you know what I mean. And what happened is that uh, turns out that I've lost it. So um, here I am, 10 years after. I'm glad to have this model and this model over here. Now be aware that this model is new for 2021. I, because I got it in 2021. And that is still um, available with track sets, especially the blue version. But this, however, was coming out, I believe, in 2006. No, wait, in 2010. I'm not sure. So let's take a look at the early version of Nerf Hammer. This is the oldest version that I have. I got it on eBay. And this is the packaging of it. I think it will be good right now, or like that. Check it out, guys. So, uh, first of all, I really like the matching colors. The blue with the red and everything. And, um, yeah, I actually missed this one because I really didn't want to turn this part over here as well. So, I like to keep my cards as well. But, there's something really good about this. Is that at that time, you could have or you could um, get a car. And then, there's a challenge that says... You have to choose a category that was actually this is earth category but i forgot uh the other categories i'm going to list them after i say these and um you got highest number wins what numbers you're talking about we're talking about these numbers and in case of a tie race your cars i personally like to race the, the cars because each car has its own performance so it's just something good and uh, if you want to pose go ahead and read sorry uh, I don't know about that but road race or race world I thought it was road road no world race sorry anyways okay let's check out the actual car now over here you got the fire logo this is actually i had seen this guy on a video 10 years ago and it just i don't know it's always fascinating me and um this is the front of it i really like the gold with the uh red it's an x racer uh car because you, you can see through it, obviously. This is the base. And by the way, I want to talk this about this symbol because we are seeing it again these days. Well, this symbol, if you've seen it on any of your car, well, that means that this guy is perfect for loops. And I'm not sure if I can say this, but maybe uh, it can also be a track car or moreover, this symbol can refer to as a track car because i'm not, i'm actually i'm not going to uh take the initiative and tell you track car because uh not every car is a track car you know what i'm saying but this guy is fantastic in loops boosters and curves which is something good this is the rear of this car these are the exhaust of course and yeah this is the engine check it out and this is uh the uh, interior beautiful car i love it all right so this is the version of nerve hammer that i was talking about 
it's actually very surprising that uh, it have been sold you know on a uh, one pack because the version that I got or the same version that I got I had it on like mystery model very interesting and this however is the version or the other version of the latest nerve hammer of 2021 now I do want to mention that this is not and um, is not available anymore because it's very old but I I I just you know remember that as, as it was yesterday and the mystery model that I was talking about is hold on oh oh yeah there we go so it's this one you can see the miniature the one that I'm actually uh, referring to with the mouse so uh, yeah there you go and let's get back to the review okay thank you let's go or let's go ahead and talk about this or about this new model now I don't know but for some reasons lately Nerveheimer had always or are actually are, are actually starting to have this shape, you know. So um, I'm not sure why the reason. I don't know, but the we're gonna compare them at the end. But also, I like the matching colors as well. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with, or moreover, you guys love the uh, the green. I'm okay with it. And this is the engine. This is the interior. These are the wheels. I like the um, wait. It's open O H no. It's yeah O H five, which means open hole five. The type of wheels as well. This is the rear. I mean, it's plastic on a metal. Okay, so metal base, plastic no metal base. Yeah, plastic body. Then you got nerve hammer over here. Beautiful, but the symbol here is here and um, It's not here. Oh wait. Yeah, there you go Sorry my bad Hmm What happened? Hello <laughs> Welcome back. Let's compare these bad boys So first of all Let's start with the front and as you can see let me Sorry guys wrong button there you go and as you can see um, here the headlights are actually more exposed than here this is really really interesting I personally prefer the exposed headlights rather than being you know hided and this is the shape that I was talking about you know you got it's like an X shape and here it's a normal shape I prefer this one than this one but I don't know the reason why they stopped doing this I mean uh, there was another car that had the same issue I forgot the name but it was a fantasy car of course and um, same shape of course because it's obviously nerve hammer but another thing that I do want to mention is uh, this spoiler at the back and as you can see here it's uh, fixed or moreover sticks to the body of the car where while this one is actually a separate piece and you can see this I don't want to damage this guy but you know you can touch it and everything but this one is actually sticked I don't know I prefer this model it gives you a good sense or a great sense of uh, like um, details, you know. And this issue is had been um, or is actually the same as like um, Synchro had. Now Synchro is another car, but they stopped having the uh, spoiler at the back, you know. Uh, they also started sticking to it. But we're gonna take a look at it later. Anyways, what else? On the base, you got uh, pretty much it's way, way, way um, detailed, like here than here, because this version of Nerve Hammer, uh, you can see 2005 copyright in 2005, 
and um, you got Malaysia here, same here. What else? Uh, oh yeah, uh, you, you can see that there's no this thing. You know, this is actually in real life for the engine that turns out to like uh, for the for the wheels to spin. And there's nothing here. But I like the improvements of this, you know, because um, I don't know, I feel like it gives it more detail and more concern about this, you know. So yeah, there you have it. Again, uh, my personal thoughts, um, I say that it's a beautiful model and later on we're gonna have a small race, uh, which you guys are interested to, I believe. And um, yeah, there you go. And also I forgot to mention that on the front, you see here, these teeth, these teeth, sorry, over here. Well, it turns out that they are it's plastic right now, you know. I feel like Nerve Hammer got downgraded to very, very, very normal and basic car, which is something that I hate because a lot of fantasy cars these days are getting remodels. Um, I don't know, but um, for this maybe it's because of safety, because you know this thing can be torn easily and then like kids can like have problems. But we're not kids, we're just collectors and we like to play with our cars. Anyways, or put them for the track. So I'm using the 4-lane raceway and uh, this is one of my favorite track sets. I still haven't done any review about it, but I promise in the end, or moreover in the future, I'll do it. So, um, we got side by side. Let's see who will win. And here they are, three. Two, one, go. Okay. We're gonna switch lanes. There we go. So, three, two, one, roll. Okay. Set, go. Okay, so uh, maybe Nerve Hammer, the red version, is the winner. Last race. Let's go. Yep, definitely the red version. So to conclude, the red version is better than the uh, green version. Now, uh, as I told you before, the green version is um, heavier than the red version, which is a big difference, you know? And also it has an impact on the racing and as you saw which gives the red version the opportunity to win okay in my opinion yeah the red version is better than the green version like uh, not only on the performance but also on the way it looks and this is it this is the uh, end of the review. We hope that you learned something about Nerve Hammer um, As this one is one of my favorite cars of all time in Hot Wheels in general and also leave a big thumbs up so that we know that you enjoyed this content Take care guys and talk to you soon